Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. My fellow woodworking enthusiasts, today we have a custom milling job that is going to take your woodworking excitement to the next level. Join us as we fire up this LT15 and tackle the massive undertaking of milling this huge log into beautiful 3x10 gems. Let's get into this video. I wanted to just quickly point this out to you guys before we get to milling this log. This log has actually been scaled twice as indicated by the two different numbers on the end. Why this is, is we actually paid for two logs, both at 12 feet. And the numbers there indicate how many board feet was in each log. We do this because the log tapers. If we were to only pay for one log at 24 foot long, then you're only going to be scaling the smallest end. Whereas if you paid for two logs, that second 12 foot log is going to be scaled at a larger number because there are more board feet in the log that is wider, farther down on the tree. So when you see the two numbers there, one's 86 and the other is 73. So kind of a significant difference and that's why it's done that way. Buckle up folks, this LT15 sawmill takes a bit of elbow grease, but trust me, it's worth it. You may be curious as to why we are not using our LT40 to mill this massive log. It would undoubtedly be faster and require less manual labor. But the reason for this is that our LT15 actually has a bed extension and this is what allows us to mill this 24 foot long log on this mill versus using the other one because the other one is just too short. Now let's get to milling this log.
It was quite a challenge, but we managed to, to obtain the three beams we required out of just that single log. The task was tricky because the log was just the right size. And trees seldomly grow perfectly straight. As the length increases, the bends become much more apparent as we attempt to make a straight cut. Regrettably, this beam has a lot of weighing in it to do to that. And so we've already contacted the customer and asked if this is acceptable for what he's using it for. He has not gotten back to us yet, so we have to wait for him to do so. If he does need another one, we'll have to throw another log up on there and cut it just to get one beam, which is kind of unfortunate, but we're willing to do it to get a good product for our customer. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more content. If you would like to check out some of our merch, we have lots of t-shirts with funny sayings on them, amongst some other things. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link down in the description. Other than that, we'll see you back here next time.